Here she is. Hi, Is. Are you going to help unwrap the new bike rack? Yeah. What have you got there? Some scissors. Let's Some scissors? It. So, what are we doing, Is? We, this is our new bike rack, and we're going to open it. It goes on our camper over there. So, it should be cool, shouldn't it? So, it's the first time so we've we ever can... seen it. Yes, it came for the first time. Here we are so far, and Izzy is going to help me with the instructions in a minute to put it on. There's and we were just saying here. that it comes with a fourth bike adapter. Oh, oh, can you reach in? No. No. Wait, I can do it. Thank you. What are these boobies? <laughs> no, darling. Oh dear. Wait. What are those? Constructions. constructions. So we have this tow bar fitted and it is a tow trust tow bar, it's removable, it's got a max vertical load of 145 kilos and then the instructions here for the Strada DL for the 3 plus 1 bike carrier, um, I think ours falls into this category here, so with uh, 145 kilos, 3 plus 1 we can have a maximum of 63 kilos. It should be fine for uh, our needs. Open the gate. Watch out for the camera. <laughs> this is our new camper. This blue one here. We're going to put that bike rack onto here. At the back of our camper. Daddy, but how will we try to open the boot? Ah, well that's the special thing about this one. Daddy, everyone can see your bottom. <laughs> I'll go this way then. Well, that is a bike rack. That says, the green safety tab will show when the Strada is fitted correctly. Is it green? Yeah. Yeah. So there we have it mounted on the tow ball and I've just been looking at the instructions to see how it tilts backwards before I put the bikes on. And I'll just show you what I found out so far. I had to get the instructions out for this. First of all, there is a green button here. So press the green button down. Next thing is here, this bar. Um, you can put your foot on there or press it down with your hand. And then you get hold of the bikes. And then the whole thing slides backwards then. It doesn't slide as smoothly as I hoped it would, but I think when the bikes are on it, it probably will slide better. So, quite good. It doesn't touch the ground. And it's given quite a nice space now to open the tailgate. Put some bikes on now to see uh, if it works as well with bikes as without. The mounts at the bottom are adjustable. The wing nuts inside here. These here seem to be fairly straightforward to use. It's just when you put the bike on, it just seems a little bit like they're getting in the way. But anyway, once the bike's on, feed that in and then lift that up and that locks it. Now we're going to put a children's bike on the back. Right, so we've now got Izzy's bike on the back and that uh, looks really good. And obviously there's a space for a third and then We've bought the fourth bike adapter, which goes on after that. But I think you have to assemble that um, before you start putting all the bikes on. Pressing the green button. Brilliant. It's about 
five millimeters. Probably less. And I'm going to now try and fit the fourth bike adapter to the Atira bike rack. Generally, the build quality seems pretty good. Everything's either stainless steel, powder coated, or plastic, which is uh, good for all year round use. So here's the final bit of kit that comes with it. Um, this is another bike stay or support. So um, it's designed to go on the third bike, crossbar, or wherever you can get it to then support the fourth bike. There we go. We'll try loading four bikes onto it now, and see how it looks. So we're really pleased with the, uh, the bike rack. Um, it's a towable mounted bike rack, obviously. And why did we choose this over the bike rack that goes on the back here? A lot of California, you should see, or a lot of transporters with the T5 or T6 rack on the back here. And they look quite cool, and they fold a bad way when you're not in use. But um, there's some problems with that. And um, the main one being is that when the bikes are on the, uh, the tailgate mounted rack, they're, they're a, a lot taller. And it means that when you want to open the tailgate, if you can open the tailgate, the handlebars will gouge the roof. If you've got the pop-up roof up, it makes the problem even worse. Um, so the advantages of the tow ball mounted ones is it's nice and easy to load, it's nice and low. And using this one, this particular Atira bike rack, um, which I think is probably the only one on the market where you can get in to the boot. There's a little button down there, here, which is really cool. Just is a little bit tight there, but it depends on your handlebars. So now, because of the design, I can get right inside here now. They've made it triangular, uh, the main sort of subframe, uh, which is quite clever. So it means that I can get in and access anything here nice and easy. green indicator you've got to make sure that's in so you know it's safe and that's it you're ready to go so overall um, yes you do need a tow bar fitting to be able to do this which is another expense but we already had a tow bar fitted because we wanted to tow anyway um, so we're pleased with it and it gets all four bikes on so to take it off we do the two clamps You need the key. There we go. It's off. Is it very heavy? It's quite heavy. You wouldn't want to be uh, carrying it very far. And also, it's a bit awkward to put down. But uh, anyway, we put it back on. Let's have a look over the tow ball there to see how the mechanism works. And clever. Goes over and then you can feel it clamping up. There you go. And that's on.